Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the ToyHacks Armory, where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors, and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video comes from the Transformers Buzzworthy Bumblebee line, Worlds Collide 4-Pack. And I gotta give a huge shout out to my buddy Brad, who found this set for me in Texas. He sent me a quick message saying, hey, I just found the Worlds Collide 4-Pack, do you want it? And I'm like, hell yes! Sent him a quick PayPal transaction, and two days later, this is in my hands. Now, the main figure I wanted out of this whole set was Nemesis Primal here, but this is a pretty good deal for $84.99, which is retail price. You get the $30 Primal, $20 Fangry, $20 Bumblebee, and $20 Black Arachnia. So it, it's not a bad deal for these figures. Granted, <laughs> do we really need another mold of Cliff Jumper there, who's now Bumblebee? So real quick, let's take a look at the packaging. You've got Buzzworthy, Bumblebee, Worlds Collide, all the figures are here in robot mode. And what's cool about this packaging, or a little bit different, is the front has plastic, but the top in this honeycomb design has holes in it. So you can kind of stick your fingers right through there. Now there is something rattling around in here, but if you look through the top, there's a sealed section right here. So I'm assuming that's yeah, that sounds like instructions, maybe a couple of the uh, accessories, but we'll find out when we open the packaging. Side of the box, you've got yellow Autobot logo, there's Bumblebee on this side, and back of the packaging, you've got all the figures in robot modes and vehicle modes. Now, what I'm going to do for this review is I'm going to break this down into four different reviews, one per figure, because this is a big set. I really don't want to make a really long video, so I'm going to break it down. That way you guys can watch the review on whichever figure you choose. And for my last review, we're going to take a look at Bumblebee here. So now, without further ado, let's get this box opened up and check him out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now, once you get Bumblebee all opened up and out of the packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions that, once again, this sheet covers all four of the figures in the Worlds Collide pack. So, this is a massive sheet of instructions. But, considering this is the fourth use of this mold, you should know how to transform him by now. Bumblebee also comes with this little, I guess that's the All Spark. It's got a little port right there, not a port, a little hole. And this feels like soft rubber. Actually, it feels like a booger. But you got that. You've got the back portion of his vehicle or shield. And you also have the bazooka that all of this mold comes with. Of course, I like this one. This comes in that army man green. So that's pretty cool. And then, of course, we've got bumblebee himself and he looks really good i like the color scheme on this bumblebee nice bright yellow the way bumblebee should be now 
like I said, this is the fourth version, actually the fifth version of this mold, if you count Netflix Bumblebee, but we have the original mold, which was Earthrise Cliff Jumper, followed by Generation Selects Hubcap, followed by Generation Selects Bug Bite. Let me see if I can get everybody in shot here, which was our first look at a mold, the Cliff Jumper mold with a bumblebee head. So you see it's the exact same head, just different color scheme. And then of course we got Netflix Bumblebee, which was that Walmart exclusive that everybody was after. Now, moving these guys out of the way, I do like the color scheme on Buzzworthy Bumblebee a lot better than Netflix B. Now, Netflix B was an amazing use of the mold, but I do like the color scheme on this Bumblebee a lot more. Also, bring in everybody once again, if you look at their chests, each figure here does have the Autobot logo, or in Bug Bites case, the Mercenary logo is on there thanks to a Toy Hacks decal. The Buzzworthy Bumblebee, his Autobot logo is Tampa Graft on. So that's one nice change. Now I'm not going over all of the features and comparisons with the guy. I mean, if you have either of Cliff Jumper, Hubcap, or Bug Bite, that mold, you know what to expect out of that figure. So now let's take a look at Bumblebee in vehicle mode. In vehicle mode, Bumblebee really pops with this nice bright yellow color scheme. He's got black here along the front, right up there in the intake, down here for a little grill, and like the silver wheels. I mean, I've liked this vehicle mode. They did a real good job with this vehicle mode. Big Autobot logo right there, tampographed up on top. Now, of course, like all the others, he has a transparent windshield and side windows, while the rear window is painted black with a black bumper across the back. So this vehicle mode looks good. I like the collar, but it's nothing that we haven't seen before. So there you have Bumblebee in vehicle mode. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is Transformers Buzzworthy Bumblebee Worlds Collide Bumblebee with Generation 1 Bumblebee, Generation 1 Classic Pretender Bumblebee, Titans Return Bumblebee, and War for Cybertron Trilogy Netflix Bumblebee. The Transformers Buzzworthy Bumblebee Worlds Collide 4-Pack is a mixed bag of figures to be sure. Now personally, I absolutely loved Nemesis Primal and Black Arachnia. Fangry, I'm about 50-50 on. I like the fact we got a deluxe class Fangry that's also a headmaster, but his loose joints just kill me. It took me a while just to get him posed for this shot right here. If he had tighter joints, this figure would be awesome. And Bumblebee here, man, like I said, it's the fifth use of that mold, but I do like what he brings to the table. He's got the Tampagraft Autobot logo. He's got the correct color scheme. I just wish he was the VW Beetle, just like the Netflix version. One, because I think the VW would look great in that color scheme. And two, a lot of folks missed out on that Netflix Bumblebee and this would have been the perfect opportunity to make another one. Now, once again, I want to give a huge shout out to my good buddy, Brad, the Texas Toy Hunter, for finding this set for me so I could add these figures to my collection. Now, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hello!